In this video, I'm going to explain the basics of differentiation that you need to know for the T-level in design, surveying and planning core exam and provide some examples. I will also explain how differentiation is used in construction in the built environment. In a different video, I will continue with optimization problems where you will use this basic knowledge of differentiation. Differentiation is used in maths for calculating the rate of change. It shows the rate at which something is changing. In the problems that we are going to solve, we will calculate the rate at which a function changes at any given point. So we are going to work with functions. A function is just a mathematical expression that defines a relationship between two variables. For example, we have this function y equals x squared. This is another way to represent the same function. If we draw this function in a graph, this is the result. Differentiation helps us finding the slope of this curve at any specific point. The slope is like the steepness of the curve. We are going to select a point. The slope at this point of the curve can be visualized as the slope of the tangent line to the curve at that point. This line is also called the gradient of the tangent and it can be represented by dy over dx, the change in y over the change in x. The slope at a point on the curve represents the rate of change, how quickly the function's value is changing at that point. When the slope is steeper, the rate of change is faster. I'm going to choose another point on the curve with a less steep slope. In this case, dy over dx have a smaller value than in the other example, and this means that the rate of change is lower than in the first point selected. Now we are going to see how differentiation plays a crucial role in various aspects of construction. Here we have some examples. Optimization of materials and design. Differential calculus helps in finding optimal dimensions and shapes that minimize material costs, but also meeting structural and safety requirements. Structural analysis. Engineers use differentiation to analyze the stresses and strains within structures. By differentiating equations of loading conditions, they can determine critical points that may need to be reinforced. Soil mechanics. Engineers use differential equations to model how soil will respond to foundations and other loads, ensuring stability. Heat transfer. Differentiation is used to model heat transfer in buildings to optimize heating, ventilation and air conditioning systems, providing energy efficiency. Sound waves. Differential calculus is used to analyze and control sound waves within a building, ensuring proper acoustics. Construction management. Optimization problems involving time, cost and resource utilization can be formulated and solved using differentiation techniques to maximize efficiency and minimize delays. Let's see an example of how differentiation would be used in an example of structural analysis. Suppose you have a beam supported at both ends and a load applied at some point along its length. The beam will bend due to the force applied Differentiation would tell us how much the beam bends at a specific point compared to other points along its length. Differentiation consists on finding the slope of the curve at a specific point. We can pick a point on the curve and draw a tangent line, a line that touches the curve at just that point. The slope of the tangent line is the derivative of the curve at that point. It tells us how the curve is changing at that exact spot. As x changes, the gradient function changes. By differentiating the equation of the curve that describes the beam's deflection with respect to x, we can find the slope of the beam at any point. 
This information is crucial for determining potential weak points in the structure where stresses might be highest. Now we are going to see different ways to identify a question that is asking to differentiate. If we have an equation beginning with y, the type of question can be calculate the rate of change, calculate the gradient of the tangent to the curve, differentiate y with respect to x, find dy dx, and the answer should start like this. For a function f of x, represented like this, the different type of questions that we could be asked are calculate the rate of change of the function with respect to x, differentiate the function, calculate the derived function, calculate the derivative, and the answer should be represented like this, f does x. A common type of problems related to differentiation are optimization problems. In these ones, you will be asked a question like find the maximum or find the minimum of something. How do we differentiate a function? This is the mathematical expression of the general rule. It may seem complicated, but in practice it's not difficult. Let's use an example to understand the rule. We have this function f of x equals x cubed. If we want to find the derivative of this function, f does x equals, and let's have a look at the rule, u times the power by the x, the power is 3, u times it by the x, and take away 1 from the power. The power is 3, if I take away 1, it's 2, and this is the derivative. Another example f of x equals x to the power of 5. The derivative function f does x equals 5 times x and 5 minus 1 is 4, so x to the power of 4. This is the derivative function. Another example, f of x equals x. In this case, the derivative function f does x equals the power of x is 1. So 1 times x to the power of 1 minus 1, which is 0. x to the power of 0 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. f of x equals 5. In this case, the derivative function f does x is going to be 0. There is no x here, so every time that we have a constant, which is a term without an x, the derivative is going to be 0. y equals 2x to the power of 5. Remember that a function can be represented as f of x or as y. If we differentiate y with respect to x, we need to apply the rule, so the power is going to multiply x. In this case, x has a coefficient, has a number that is multiplying x. We need to multiply the power by this number as well, so 5 times 2 is 10, x to the power of 5 minus 1, which is 4. y equals 3x to the power of minus 2. This time we have a negative power. The derivative of y, the function, with respect to x equals minus 2 times 3, which is minus 6 x to the power of minus 2 minus 1, which is minus 3. y equals 2x to the power of 4 minus 2x plus 3. The derivative function dy dx equals 
4 times 2, 8x to the power of 4 minus 1, 3. Minus 1 times minus 2, which is 2. We have a constant here, a number, and the derivative is 0. So this is the answer. One more example, y equals 6x to the power of 5 minus 3x to the power of 3 minus x dy dx equal 5 times 6 30x to the power of 4 minus 3 times 3 which is 9x to the power of 2 minus 1.